McDonald's prices are up, so lower income consumers are eating at home. Hello everyone and welcome to this channel and let's get started with the interesting news. Some lower income Americans are rejecting McDonald's and option to cooking at home instead. The fast food chain Fanachi Financial Office said at an investor conference on Wednesday, it is a challenging consumer environment. The CFO said nothing that many consumers are trying to manage inflation, higher interest rates, and dividend savings. Inflation sting has pushed Americans to cut back on small luxuries. That includes their spending on food at restaurants such as McDonald's, fast food restaurants that historically price value and affordability as core business values. So, uh, dining out has become more of a luxury, according to the February inflation data. In the consumer price index, food at home prices grew 1% over year over year, while restaurant prices rose 4.5% over the last year. But the current surge in restaurant prices has flipped the script from a year ago. When it was cheaper to dine out at, the at that time, restaurant prices were up 8.4% and grocery prices were up 10.2% year over year. Some of those consumers are just choosing to eat at home more often, Borden said. To win back these um, customers, Borden um, said McDonald's is offering them uh, more bang for their buck at the drive through including bundled price at $4 and below at 90% of its U.S. locations. See guys, uh, we want to make sure that, that the consumers know what is available and obviously thinking of us when they are making their choices. McDonald's has faced financial troubles internationally as well. For example, the fast food chain has noted that the turmoil in the Middle East has waved on the sales in the region. Sales in its licensed market business, of which most of the its Middle East locations are part, grew just 0.7% in the last quarter, far worse than, uh, worse than more than 4% growth in the, in the United States as the international businesses. So, whether the customer grocery shopping or eating out, prices are looking better than they have in years since the onset of the pandemic. Food inflation overall is rising at its lowest pace since May 2021. According to the data, price hikes at the grocery store at their lowest level since June 2021, while food inflation at restaurants is up by the least amount since July 2022. Consumers have also pulled back on their spending at discount chain Family, Do Family Dollar, whose parent company said when I said it will close nearly 1,000 stores. Company executives said decades high inflation has kept consumers away, impacting its profits and exacerbating its competition with Dollar General and Walmart. Family Dollar also faced years of mismanagement and poor condition in stores. McDonald's stock was down roughly by 3% in afternoon trading. So this is all in this video. Thanks so much.